The wind got up for the final round of International Series Oman, making this beautiful Almouge course even more of a challenge. But, as you would expect, the golf was exceptional. A really good defence of the title by Japan, Takumi Kanaya. This birdie at the 10th on his way to a 68. He finished inside the top 10, as indeed did Peter Uline. Tee shot at the 11th, down towards the Gulf of Oman. Beautiful hole. And a beautiful tee shot. 71 for Uline. He finishes at 12 under for the week. It was a week to remember, too, for Maverick Antcliffe of Australia. Only got his Asian tour card at the Q School last month. How about this at the par 5 12th? Beautifully hold. A 65 matched the low score of the day, and he finished tied for fourth. Great week for the Aussie. Mito Pereira had an even better back nine. He was back in 29, birdied the last four, and finished at 13 under par, tied for fourth. Great week for Pereira. Joaquin Neiman, this is his second into the 14th. Another good week for the Chilean. He finished in third place after a 67 today. At the start of the final round, we had joint leaders. Louis Eust Hazen, one of those. There's a birdie at the 10th from the South African. He battled to the end, a 69 today for 15 under, but he had to settle for second place. The man who comes out on top with a real exhibition of golf, Carlos Ortiz of Mexico. He played some marvellous golf. He had a double bogey on the opening hole of the tournament on Thursday, didn't drop another shot. Today, seven birdies and a 65 for 19 under, and that was good enough to win by four. Not his longest part of the day, but the one which guaranteed that his name would be on the International Series Oman Trophy. Great exhibition of golf by the Mexican. Carlos Ortiz, our International Series Oman champion.